Hi everyone, I'm Renee and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to share today's video with you. I'm gonna show you how I made this super cute pumpkin candy bucket cake for Halloween. I love how this cake came out and if you wanna see how I made it step by step, let's get started. I started by leveling my cakes. For this cake, I used two seven inch rounds as well as one six inch round of my chocolate cake recipe, which I will be sure to link for you. I also split that six inch layer so that I would have two halves, one for the bottom and one for the top of the cake to help me get a round pumpkin shape. Starting and ending with each half of that six inch layer, I went ahead and assembled my cake, filling with some of my vanilla Swiss meringue buttercream, another recipe that I will have linked for you. Then I cover all of the exposed cake with a nice crumb coat of my buttercream before popping it in the refrigerator to chill so it can firm up and be a lot easier to work with. A cold cake is much easier to work with so I get started by rounding off the top and bottom edges just trimming away a little bit of cake at a time. Then I used a knife to lightly mark some lines so I can carve the ridges for the pumpkin and went in and carved a slight V shape along each of the marks that I made. Then I crumb coat again to cover up any exposed cake and contain any crumbs. After letting the cake chill in the refrigerator again, I'm gonna give it a finished coating of buttercream. Then used a flexible scraper to smooth the buttercream and went a little bit deeper at the top to help find the areas that I carved and used the corner of the scraper to remark all of the ridges. I decided I wanted each of those bumps to be a little bit more pronounced, so I added a little bit of buttercream to the center part of each one to build them out. Then because this is a candy bucket and not just a pumpkin, I went ahead and made sure the top was nice and flat and level. Next I smoothed everything out to get the cake ready for fondant. I rolled out some pale orange fondant for this cake and applied it over my cold cake after I had smoothed all of the buttercream. Then working quickly, I'm going to apply the fondant, making sure to work it into each of those ridges to keep the definition of the pumpkin. I trimmed away a lot of the excess fondant so it would be easier to work with, but left a couple of inches. Then inverted the cake so that I can work the fondant over the bottom edge of the cake. I used just a little scrap of fondant to help buff and smooth the surface. Then I trimmed away all the excess fondant at the bottom of the cake. Then I went in with my cell pin to help define all of those ridges a little bit more. Then 
For the top of the cake, I rolled out a thin piece of black fondant. I used a little bit of water right on that very top flat part of the cake and attached my black piece of fondant. Then using an X-Acto knife, I trimmed away the excess using the top of those ridges as my guide. I rolled out a rope of the orange fondant, then using a little bit of water, I attached a ring around the top to be the rim of the candy bucket. I wanted to enhance this cake a little bit more with some color to give it some dimension. So I dusted the surface lightly with some cornstarch to help with blending of some petal dusts. And then I lightly dusted in a little bit of a yellowy orange petal dust right into each of those ridges. I created a handle for the candy bucket by first rolling a thick log of black fondant. Then I inserted a 20 gauge wire right in the center and continued rolling it out until it was about a quarter of an inch thick. Then I gently pulled the wire out a little bit and applied a little water near the end before pinching and rolling the ends to help the fondant stick to the wire. I don't want to stick wire directly into my cake, so I prep the wires by first hooking the end, and then I have a length of a skinny straw that I'm going to push through a little bit of fondant to create kind of a stopper. And I make one of those straw stoppers for each side of the wire. I carefully push one of those straws onto the end of the wire, and that little bit of fondant gets pushed down and because we hooked the wire, it should not pierce all the way through the fondant, creating a stopper in the straw. So when we insert it into the cake, no wire will come in contact with the cake. Gently bend the fondant on that wire into a curve that has an opening that is approximately the width of the top of the cake and then set that aside on some foam to dry. Next, I'll show you how I made some fondant candy decorations for the cake. Starting with a lollipop, I have a purple, green, and white rope of fondant that I put together and then twisted. And then rolled it out to about half an inch thick. Trim the ends to clean them up. And then starting at one end, I pinched it to make it a little thinner. And using a little bit of water, we're gonna roll this into a spiral. Then insert a length of dowel into the center about two thirds of the way up and set this on some foam so it can dry. Next, I made some wrapped candies. So for the little wrappers, I rolled out some white fondant fairly thin and cut it into little rectangles. Then I took each piece and accordioned one end and folded it into a point while leaving the other end fanned out. And this creates one side of the little wrapper. I find it easier when making all these candies to just make all these little wrapper pieces ahead of time. That way they can set up a little bit before I assemble all the candies. Then for the candies themselves, I made some basic shapes out of some brightly colored fondant. And then I used this modeling tool that has ridges on it like a star and inserted a mark onto either side of the shape. Then use my veining tool to make additional marks so it will look like folds in a wrapper. Then I use the smooth cone shaped end of the modeling tool to widen each of those little holes. Then I brush just a little bit of water into each of those holes and inserted one of the white candy wrapper pieces into each side. 
and I repeated that process creating different looking candies by varying the shape and color of the fondant that I used. And finally, I made some twizzlers by twisting together a rope of red fondant, flattening it slightly, and then trimming it into lengths, and then flattening the ends a little bit. You want to make sure to make these candy pieces well enough ahead of time that they have plenty of time to dry. And right before finishing this cake, I made some face features out of some black fondant. I used a little bit of water to attach the eyes. And I dusted on a little bit of light pink petal dust right below the eyes to give this face some rosy cheeks. Then attached the smile pieces to finish this cute little pumpkin face. Carefully insert the handle into the top of the cake. And now for the fun part, to decorate our cake with all of those candy pieces. I have my fondant candy pieces as well as an assortment of real candy, and I'm gonna use some clear piping gel to help me stick things in place. And that's it. I really love how this cake turned out. It's so fun and so cute. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos and click the bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload.